All right, everybody. So I want you to find a standing position that you feel comfortable in. If you need uh, your chair for support, it can be anywhere near you if you need something to grab or you could be near a wall. So I want you to feel the soles of your feet connect down to the ground and make sure you can see that I tilt that tiny little bit. Good. All right, and then from here, I want you to press your feet down, take a full breath in through your nose. Okay, and then let it go. Okay, eyes can be opened or closed. Try that two more times. Full breath in. And then let it go. Very nice. One more time. Full breath in. Try to expand the amount of air you have coming in. Good. And then exhale. Let your arms relax. Let your neck and head relax. Okay. And then from here, give yourself a moment and disconnect from all the other activities of your day so far. So whatever might be on your mind that's happening later in your day or happened previously in your week, put all that stuff on an imaginary shelf into the back of your mind. And for the next hour, direct your attention onto your breath and onto your body. This is your time to explore your motion, to connect to yourself deeply, and compassionately. So as we move through the practice and the flow, as much as you can, move in your pain-free range of motion, coming back to your breathing anytime the mind wants to wander or move away. If you need to take breaks, feel free to give yourself that time and take breaks. So what we're going to try to do today is increase the amount of inhale and hold for a few moments. So I want you to exhale completely, press your feet against the ground, feel as if you were tearing apart the floor with your feet. So if you imagine you are ripping apart the mat or the carpet, you should feel your glutes turn on, the lower part of your abdomen engages a little, and you have a little bit more height in your body. So keep your feet pressing down. When you're ready to inhale, stretch one arm up. Hold your breath for a few seconds. And then exhale that arm back down. Good. And then switch. Inhale, opposite arm up. Hold. And then exhale it down. Okay. Try for a count of four. Inhale. One, two, reach. Three, four. Hold your breath. And then exhale it down. Perfect. Try your opposite side. Inhale, reach. Stretch your fingers. You can widen them. Keep your feet down and reach. Try to hold. And then exhale it down. Very good. Again, inhale up. One, two, three. Press your feet down. Four. Big lift and hold. Exhale it down. Relax. Drop the weight of the shoulder. Very good. Try the opposite side. Inhale, reach. Hold your breath in at the top. And then exhale lower. Okay, if that's feeling comfortable, we'll try to hold a little longer. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see we're going to arch a little bit. Inhale, one arm up. Reach up through your chest. If you're comfortable, press your hips a little bit forward, arc back. And then exhale, float the arm down. Let it go. Set your sides on the inhale. Reach up through your fingers. Press your feet down. Try to lift and then reach back. Good. And then exhale. Bring it down. You can do the same thing against the wall space if you have it. As you inhale, reach up. You can stretch back and try to tap the wall. And then exhale. Bring it down. Very good. Switch. Inhale. Big reach. and then bring it down. Very good. Try two more on each side, holding your breath for a few moments. 
reach an arm, inhale, stretch and reach up, hold, exhale, bring it down. You got it, switch sides, full breath in. Arc at the top and hold, exhale, bring it down. You got it. One more on each arm, full breath in, inhale, reach, stretch up through your fingers, press your feet down, hold. Good, and then let it go. Switch your sides when you're ready. Inhale, full breath and reach. Arc, hold, and then exhale, let it go. Very nice. Now, both arms, inhale, reach them up. If you can, interlace your fingers, flip them up over your head and stretch. And then exhale, bring them down. That's it. So you're working on building the energy in your body and stretching and reaching. Inhale up, interlace if you can, flip your palms, reach. And then exhale, take your time and relax. Okay, now go ahead and try three more at your own speed. So same thing. Inhale, find the class, flip, hold over the head, keep your chin relaxed down, and then exhale, bring it down, relax your arms and shoulders. Good, two more, inhale, clasp if you can and reach, and if you can't clasp, you can just reach up. Hold with full lungs, and then exhale it down. Perfect, you got it. One more time, take the slowest, deepest breath you can. Good, and then let it go. That's it, and once you're down to center, play with rolling your shoulders. Inhale them up, go back, exhale them down. Very good. To the ears, back behind and down. Good, lift up, go back, slide down perfect up back down okay very nice so now from here we're going to move our spinal column a little bit more so palms towards your chest again i'm going to turn a little bit to the side so you can see the angle of my body so you'll start to bring your heart forward and then bring it back okay so when you're ready to inhale take a big breath in widen your arms stick your chest out Good, hold your breath in for a few seconds. And now exhale, curl your muscles back, press into your palms, I want you to close up those thumbs and shoot your arms forward. Yeah, good again, inhale when you're ready, bring heart forward, full breath in, extend your arms. Hold, and then exhale, feel your back muscles round and push into your palms and shoot. Okay, that's Beautiful, again, inhale, forward, hold, and then exhale, shift back, and press into palms and load them. Okay, good, keep moving at your own speed now. Take your time inhaling and bring your heart forward. It's okay if it's faster or slower than me. So you're gonna feel it out as your breath comes in. Curl the muscles in your back. You wanna cave out the lower abdomen and push deeply into your palms. Beautiful, again. That's it, create the opening. And then exhale, let it go. Try one more time. And round, beautiful. And then inhale from here, stretch your arms up. Good, big reach. Now exhale, take one arm down, stretch the opposite arm up and over. See if you can make a little half moon shape with your spine. Good, inhale, rise up. Can you reach strong up to the ceiling, nice and strong with your arms. Exhale, relax the bottom arm and sway to the other side, arm up and over. Okay, two more like that. Go up on your breath in, reach, very good, take your time, exhale to lower, and stretch out of your waist, good, take your time, go up when you're ready, inhale, good, exhale to the side, 
Yes, good job. Again, inhale, take your time, reach up. Good, exhale to sway. Very good, reach through your fingers. Go up when you're ready to breathe. That's it, focus on smoothing out your breath and then exhale to the other side. Good, and then inhale, rise up. Hold, and then exhale the arms down. And let them go. You can play with some rolls back with your shoulders, take any tension out of your neck and head and roll forward a few times. Good work. All right, so now let's warm up your hip motion since we're gonna work on opening up the hips today. Place your hands onto your hip crease. All right, now with your hands on your hips, we're gonna tilt your tailbone towards your head and then press your hip bones forward. So I'll turn to the side again so you can see, I might come a little closer. So as you're inhaling, can you tilt your tailbone towards your head? So you're allowing your pelvis to move forward. And then as you exhale, can you press your hips forward? Perfect. Inhale to tilt, exhale to push. Good. Inhale to tilt, exhale to push. So you're just feeling out how your lower back feels. Inhale, exhale, one more. Inhale, exhale. Okay, now from the center position, we'll let our hips to sway now. Take one hip, bring it back and then to the side. Okay, so you're letting this outer edge of your hip and IT band stretch come back to center. And the opposite side, go back and then to the side. Come to center, good. Back and then to the side. And up, good. Back and then to the side. So you're starting just to let your hips sway from one side to the other. Let your breath be free. Just let it smoothly come in and out. And notice what you're feeling in your hips today. Side to side, good. Side to side, good. Last one, sway to one side, let the hip and glute stretch and come up. Switch to the other side, hip and glute stretch and come up, good, very nice. So now the degree of difficulty is gonna get a little bit more. So if you have issues with your balance, you're gonna place one hand onto a solid chair or you're gonna have one hand holding a wall close to it, okay? So whatever side of your body is holding the support is gonna stay down, then I want you to lift the opposite leg up, okay? So I'll show from here. Okay, so see that foot is flexed, my toe is towards my shin bone, good. And I want you to kick the leg back and then bring it up towards you, okay, good. On the inhale, kick your leg back, and then exhale, bring it towards you, okay? If you were going hands-free, if you didn't need help with your balance, you kick your leg back, squeeze, and then exhale, pull the knee up. Good, go back and then up. So that's it, start to prime up your hip. Go back and then up, okay? Now kick your leg back, straighten out your knee, turn your foot to the side, now pick up your knee, Come up like you are coming over a hurdle. Yeah, good. Pedal back, turn, lift the knee. You're gonna keep the foot flex as it comes up, come over. That's it, try one more. Go back, turn, up, and then over. Same leg, you might get tired, it's okay. You breathe if you need to. Go to the side, keep the foot flex, kick, and now sweep it through to the side, kick back and sweep it through. Very good. Again, side, kick, extend, sweep it. Good, and then give that leg a little shake. Very good. Okay, these are hard motions. <laughs> so take breaks anytime. So now we'll do the same thing with the opposite side. If you're using a chair for support, go ahead and switch it. If you're using the wall for support, go ahead and grab it. Make sure you feel that your body is supported so you can really work 
on the leg and the hip motion. Okay, take your time. And then we'll start with basic first. So front and back is the easier of the two. So support the weight. As you exhale, lift the outer leg. So whatever leg is on the outside. Yep. And now push back, kick. And then on your exhale, bring it in. Inhale, smooth breath. Exhale, the leg comes back. That's it. Inhale, smooth it out, feel the weight transfer. And then exhale, bring it up. You got it. Inhale, pedal back. Exhale, bring it in. Good. And we'll start our rotation in the hips. So inhale, back. Turn the foot. Exhale, bend at your knee joint. Come up over that imaginary hurdle. So this is a harder motion. If your hip is um, very stiff, it might look something like this. You might be doing a lower circle. That's okay. We're just trying to wake up all the muscles around your hip. So kick back, turn the foot, bend your knee, sweep it up. Kick back, turn, bend, drive it in. Back, turn, bend and drive, reverse to the side, kick, straighten and come up. To the side, kick, straighten and come up. Good, feel it out. That's it, doesn't need to be perfect to work. Just needs to start to wake up all the areas in the hip on the side. Last one, kick, sweep it, and then relax it. All right, and then pedal out your feet. Okay, good. Now your chair can be in front of you, or your hands can be to your waist, or you could be on the wall here. We're gonna do one more in our warm-ups. Either one will work. I'll show with a little bit of chair support. When you're ready to inhale, can you lift your heels up off off the ground? Good, and then exhale, lower them down. Okay, so if you were going hands-free, you could step away from the surface or have the wall close. As you inhale, try lifting one or both arms up. Lift your heels and now stretch, hold your breath in, and then exhale, lower it down. Very good, good job. Inhale, lift, so with or without your support. You can have a hand down, you can have a hand on the wall, lift and squeeze. And then exhale, take your time, bring it down. Good, three more. Work on expanding on the breath in. So inhale slowly and reach, squeeze. Try to hold your breath. And then bring it down. Take your time, two more. If you're doing one hand at a time, alternate them. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Release. Very good. One more, and if you think you can hold it, stay for a few breaths. So inhale, eyes focus one spot, squeeze above your knees, take your body up to your maximum lift without strain. And then hold it there as you're breathing, whether you have support or you're hanging on to that wall, breathe and hold, squeeze above your knees, stay for three, two, and then one, float your arms down, relax your heels down, and then march your feet. Let's take some strain out of the ankles. All right. So now we're gonna start working through our flat foot squat variation. I'm gonna do a little check, there we go. Okay, so if you're using the chair for some support, it can go behind you. And allow your feet to stay now shoulder width apart, okay? Perfect, all right. So we're gonna sit back and then come up. All right, so now take a breath in, stretch your arms up. On the exhale, I want you to sit back like there was a chair behind you. And if there is, maybe you can tap it. Good, and then push off the floor and inhale and come up. Good, take a breath, 
Exhale, squat. That's it. Push your feet against the ground. Inhale, rise up. Still imagine you are ripping apart the floor with your feet so the body turns on as you inhale. Reach. Good. Sit back. Exhale, drive off the floor. You can drop your arms. Good. Inhale. Reach. Exhale. Drive up. You got it. Inhale down. Exhale up. Squeeze your bum right on the top. Inhale down. Push against the floor. Feel that strength in your legs. Exhale. Drive off the ground. Try two more in this set. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Smooth breath in. And then let it go. Good. That's it. Take a little breather. Now we're going to step back into a lunge position. If you're using your chair, you can use that bottom part or the top part. If you're not using a chair, I'll show you how to go down from the floor. So stay close towards uh, the, the top of your mat. As you inhale, swing your arms up. Now on your exhale, fold. You can bend your knees as much as you need to. So you can land here. It's a halfway. Or you can land here coming down. So find the position that feels best for you. When you're ready to breathe in again, press your hands against your lower legs and try to stretch your spine out. Good. And then exhale, bring it down. Good. Again, inhale, lift. So you're trying to make a long line from your lower back to the crown. And then exhale, let it go. Good. Again. Inhale and exhale. Okay, now from here, take your left leg, step it back, and relax your knee a moment. Line up your front uh, knee towards the top of your ankle. So if your uh, knee is a little bit sensitive, you can put a blanket or a towel underneath it. We're not going to stay low long. If you have a chair, your hands can be on the chair or your hands can frame your front foot. This might be a lot of a stretch for you. You might feel a little bit of a compression in that hip. So if you need the height, just put your hands up a little bit higher. This can even be a, like a couch cushion. Good. Now curl your back toes. When you're ready to inhale, lift your back knee. All right. Okay, so now you're feeling this lunge position. As you inhale, bend your back knee, sink your chest forward. On the exhale, try to straighten over your front leg. Good. Inhale to bend, good. Exhale to straighten. Inhale to bend, exhale to straighten. Good. Inhale to bend, exhale to straighten. That's it. And just start to feel the motion in your hip. Full breath in. So you're here, reaching back, or you're here, reaching back. One more time. In and out. Okay. Now line up your front knee so it's stacked relatively on top of the ankle. If you're feeling stable, I want you to try reaching your arms up. So push into your feet. Inhale, arms, chest, and belly. Good. And then on your exhale, belly, chest, palms. Good. Again, inhale, arms, chest, and abdomen, big lift. Exhale, belly, chest, arms. Good, that's it. Inhale, arms, chest, abdomen. Good job. And then exhale, belly, chest, and relax. Great job, everyone. So proud. Inhale, up. Full breath and hold it. And then exhale, bring it back down. You got it. One more time. And then let it go. Take this back leg. Give it a step forward and then march on the spot. So whether you're here or you're here, you're just letting the back of the leg stretch. Okay? And then give yourself that halfway lift. So as you inhale, how long can you make your spine? Good. On your exhale, can you relax it? 
try it again. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Release. Good. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Release. Good. Now try your left leg going back. So inhale, take the left leg back, exhale it down, and then just set yourself up. Give yourself the moment to come into that runner's lunge position. Yep. Front knee relatively on top of the ankle, feet on railroad tracks. So if they're crossing, you're going to lose balance. Go a little wider with your front leg. So they're on separate lines. And then again, hands can frame low, or you can have a prop, a couch, or a seat to put your hands up so you're a little bit higher. So as you inhale, curl your rear toes, fire up your back leg. Hold it there as you're breathing out. Now the inhale expands the chest, the exhale stretches over. So take your time learning your breathing. When you're ready to inhale, sink your heart forward, lift your chest. And then on your exhale, straighten and lengthen over your front leg, even if it's not completely straight. And then try. Inhale. And then exhale when you're ready. Good. If you were on the ground, it might look like this. Inhale. And then exhale. Good. Inhale. And then exhale. Good. Try a few more. Just feeling it out through your body. So you don't have to worry about my speed. Inhale, you lunge. Exhale, you stretch. Okay, and let yourself feel it out. Forward on the breath in, and then back on the breath out. Good. Again. Good. Okay, now on your next inhale, I want you to pause into that lunge position. Now, back leg nice and strong, kick the thigh towards the ceiling. When or if you are feeling able, you can try one arm, you can go with both as you inhale, lift your arms, your chest, and your abdomen. Hold your breath at the top and then let it go. And tap down. Good. Again. Inhale when you're ready. Arms, chest, abdomen, hold the breath. And then exhale, let it go. Good. Again, inhale, arms, chest, abdomen. Good. And then exhale, let it go. So you're starting to work with your balance and work with your body. Try two more like that. Feel it out at your own speed. Very nice. And bring it down. Good. One more. Good. And then bring it down. Then once you're down, your hands are to the prop or the floor. Step your back leg forward and relax over the legs. So again, half or full, whatever's in your capacity today. Good. And just take a few breaths to smooth that out. If it's in your range of motion, as you inhale, lift halfway. Get really long in your back and then on your exhale, fold. Okay, now this time, open your arms like airplane wings right out to your sides. Lift your body in line with your hips and then push against the floor, come up. Reach up and if you're comfortable, press your hips forward a little bit. And then exhale it down and give a little shrug off. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So now we're getting into our open hip motion. From here, take a step so that you're on the wide edge of your mat if you have one, or your legs can shoot out beside you. So again, if I was having some issues with balance, I might have the chair in front. I might have the chair slightly behind me, or I can go against the wall and I can do the same thing. Okay, so I have the wall support. 
All right, so whatever you have to do to feel stable in your trunk. Now I'll mirror your motion. So spin your right foot away from you. All right, okay. So now we're in this getting into our open leg hip stance. As you inhale, can you bend your front knee? Sweep your arms out. Good. And then exhale, lower them back. We'll stay with the front leg, the right side. Good. Inhale, bend the front knee. Keep your back leg solid. Spread your arms to opposite directions. And then exhale, come back. Okay, good. Keep going in and out with your breathing. Focus on that long inhalation. In, hold, feet stay stable, push, relax. Very good. Five more on this side. In, out, that's it. Imagine your arms are in a T position. In, bend, check out how your hip feels. Exhale, bring it back. Good, three. Good, very nice. Two. Good, one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Good, hands to your hips. Use support if you need to. Spin your right toes forward. Now go ahead and spin your left toes away from you. Good. All right, so same thing on this side. Your back leg stays firm, even balance through the inner and outer edges, and this front knee does your bending. So when you're ready, exhale completely, and then inhale, open the arms, deep bend in your front knee. Good, and then exhale, push off the floor, come back. Good, again, take your time, inhale. Exhale. Good. Again, in. And out. Very nice. In, last five. And press. Take your time. Four more. Feel your breath guide you in. Inhale, nice and strong. Chest is open, arms are wide, deep bend. Exhale, bring it back. Three. Good job, two, inhale. And back. You got it, one more time. In. And out. Very good. Turn your toes forward. Now here, you can heel toe your legs back in, or you can hop and shake it off, okay? Whatever's in your range, just move it around a little bit. Very good, awesome. Okay, so now we're warmed up for this open hip range. We're gonna try to hold our breath in some of this motion. So if it becomes hard for you to breathe, just scale back. This is intended for you to just build on whatever capacity you're starting at. So again, come back to a wide-legged position. All right, now again, I'm gonna mirror you. So spin your right toes away. Make sure you feel balanced. So again, you can have a prop close by, you can have the wall, you can be against the wall if that serves you well. And then inhale the arms out to your sides. Now, when the arms come out, I want you to imagine that your shoulders were pulling off your ears and you were trying to touch both sides of the room. So they're really shooting out, they're not just being held up. And then on your exhale, take your front hip and knee, bring it as close to one line as your body allows it. All right, now inhale, bring your arms up. Hold your breath for a moment, exhale the arms down. Feel like you're gonna touch the side walls. Good, try to hold your feet steady, inhale. Hold, exhale, reach them out. That's it, very good. Again, inhale, up, hold, exhale, down. 
all the breath out. Two more, take a break if you need it. Front leg might be on fire, in. Deep bend in your knees, stretch and reach up through your trunk, and then exhale, take the shoulders off your ears. You got it, one more time, up. And then down. Good, straighten the leg, turn your toes, give the arms a break. Roll it off, that's it. You're doing wonderful, this is fantastic. So breathe, feel your body, feel the heat that's been built. See if you could relax with a long breath out. Okay, we're gonna finish up strong on the leg and then we're gonna start moving down towards the ground. So again, if you need some support, you can have some support. You also, again, can be against the wall. Now spiral, left foot out. All right, yeah, we're the same position on the other side. Arms, if it's possible, you're gonna stretch and reach them out, okay? Imagine your arms were touching both sides of the room. Take a breath in to lift. On the exhale, now find your bend. Whatever depth you can hold without strain. Very good, this upper thigh is rotating away. Now try your arms as you inhale, bring them up. Pause, exhale them back down. That's it, deep bend in your front knee. Again, inhale. Hold, good, exhale, bring it back down. You got this, four more, inhale. Hold the breath, exhale. Spread your arms, beautiful job. Inhale, leg might be on fire, shake it out if you need to. Exhale, bring it down, yes, good. Inhale, reach up. Hold, exhale. Bring it down. Yes, good job. One more time. Hold, deep bend, go for it. Exhale, pull the arms down. That's it. Hold it, push, relax. Ah. Heel toe or hop your feet back together. Shake it off on the spot. Good job. All right, let's do our little check-in. Let me pause this. Uh, all righty. Good job. Super proud. Okay, so now we're going to play with bending forward. So you may or may not use your chair, just depending on how you feel going down. If your back feels a little uncomfortable when you bend forward, just pause halfway. We'll do it three times. So as you inhale, swing your arms up. Take again that full breath in and reach. Hold for a few seconds and then exhale, bend your knees, let it go. You can again pause halfway or you can drop and relax your head. Inhale, lift halfway up. So you're trying again to find that long line in your back and then exhale, fold, softly bend your knees so that your back will stretch out. Good. And then again, arms up, full breath in. Good. And then exhale, go down, soften your knees, feel that back body stretch. Relax your neck and your head. Good work. Inhale, lift, halfway, push against the legs. Good, and then exhale, let it go, and stretch. Very nice, again, inhale, reach. And then exhale, go down. Good, and now this time as you tap the floor, shake it out a little bit, you can move side to side. Good. Lift again to that halfway up. And then exhale, let it go. Okay, then we're going to come down. Push into your palms. You can open your knees wide and stretch the weight of your hips to your heels. So your lower back stretches. Good. And I'm going to change a little bit of this view for you. It's going to be a little bit easier to see once we get into our floor work. Yeah. Very good, that should do it. Perfect, okay, so you're back. You can relax, you can round it here and allow your forehead to rest on your hands if that feels more comfortable or your fists 
or it can drop to the ground if there's the freedom to do so. That's it. And just start to let go of all that standing work. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is try to strengthen the muscles all along our back. So I want you to crawl forward and let your body come onto the belly. Okay, and then you can stack your elbows underneath your shoulders. So if you see the positioning I have, I have a direct line between my elbow and my shoulder, so it's lifting my back up. This is also good sometimes to decompress the lower part of the spine. So depending on what you feel in your lower back, it can either help or it might feel a little uncomfortable. Depends on your body and your structure. So do your best with what you have. As you're inhaling, can you press your arm bones down and let your chest lift up? Good. Now your upper arms, can you drag them towards your waist? So you can feel your chest coming forward. And then on your exhale, relax it. Good. Again, inhale. Hold. Exhale. Release. Good. That's it. So you're pushing on the breath in. Inhale, push. Drag your arms back. Try to let your spine extend. And then exhale to center. Now, if you start feeling a little stronger, I'll give you a tiny challenge. As you inhale, press your heart forward. Now, on the exhale, draw the lower belly in. Start to lift your hips up, tucking your tailbone forward. Can you start to balance between your forearms and your kneecaps? Can you lift and hollow the belly, just like a, a forearm plank? Good. And then relax it. Good. Try again. Inhale here, give yourself the spine extension, and then exhale, brace the lower abdomen. Try to push against the ground. Can you hollow out your abdomen? Yeah, good. And then release it. Inhale, try one more time, lift. And then exhale, feel that hollowing. Draw the belly in, round your back muscles. Try to hold it there. That's it, 10 seconds. Nine, if you're more comfortable, lift your knees. Eight, seven, good. Six, five, feel it. Four, push to the floor. Three, two, and bring it down. Good work. Bring one ear down, relax your arms. Take a little breather. Very good. Very nice. Okay, now bring your chin forward. Be the last one on our belly. We're going to lift our arms, our legs, our head and our chest. So on the inhale, can you lift your arms, your chest, your legs? Can you fly through the air? Squeeze the back body, lift it and hold it there. That's it. Make your hands into fists. Try to push away the wall behind you. That's it. Good squeeze. Stay for five, four, three, Two, press into palms as you inhale, press back up. On the exhale, round your back muscles. Cave and stretch into your lower back. Good. Lift a little on the breath in. Round again on the breath out. So you're just doing some dynamic rounding to release any strain from arching the back. Go up. And then reach it down. Very good. And then sweep the legs out in front of you. Good. Shift your body forward. Very nice. Roll to your back and allow the soles of your feet. Good. To stay about hip distance apart. Good. And then relax your arms. And now just feel the spine as you lay back. 
Good. On your next breath in, I want you just to feel, push your feet and your heels down. As you inhale, lift your hips up off the floor, whatever height they can reach to, and then squeeze. And then exhale from your upper back, start to lower down. Can you lower down? And then relax the back of your pelvis. Good. Two more. As you inhale, reach up, push, squeeze, and lift. And then when you're ready to breathe out, bring it down. Very good. All right, let's try one more time. Inhale, push, squeeze, lift. Now this time, hold it there as you exhale. Try and inhale, expand your chest and your ribs. Hold for a few moments. And then exhale, maintain the posture. See if you can feel your feet pressing down and lift your body. Try two more like that. In. Hold. Exhale. Let it go. Wonderful, good job. Relax your arms out to your sides. Let your knees tilt side to side. Do a little rock with your knees. You could play with the spacing of your feet. All the hard work is done. Good job. Now just a little bit of unwinding, relax your hips. Good job, all right? And then take your time, bring your knees towards your body and let your back really stretch out here. Good. As you inhale, let your knees slightly separate off your belly. Now, as slow as you can, exhale, draw the lower belly to your spine and give your knees a comfortable hug in. Okay, four more like that. Inhale. Exhale. And pause. In. Out. and pause. Relax your eyes, relax your jaw. Last two in this set. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. And then completely exhale, let your knees hug into you. You can take a few breaths here. Good. And then you can relax your feet onto the ground with your knees facing up. You're welcome to let your knees touch so that you feel more relaxed in the lower part of your back. If this is uncomfortable, you can always stretch your legs out or you can always utilize your chair and put your feet up. So if you have a couch or a chair, something that feels good for your lower back, you can, you can modify like this. Okay, so either way, you can lay flat, you can have the feet bent, you can have your feet up. Just make sure you can relax for a few moments. Good. So now we're going to concentrate on breathing and relaxation. So you can support your neck and your head if you have supports. You can stick a pillow underneath there or a blanket or cover your body up. Just make sure that you are going to be able to bring your body to a state of relaxation. So any sort of discomfort you're feeling, work on just fixing it now before we start to rest. So wiggle, adjust. 
You can always scoop your pubic bone forward or tuck your tailbone down so it makes your lower back feel a little longer. Okay. And then start by completely exhaling all the air out. Lower belly goes into your spine. And now inhale as slow as you can through your nose. Once your lungs are full, hold. And then exhale completely. Let your arms, your legs, your neck and your head relax down. Very good. Five more like that. Inhale when you're ready. Hold with full lungs. And then exhale completely. Let all your body weight drop down. Your belly towards the spine. Slow down your breath out. Good. Again, breathe in. Hold the breath. Exhale, let it go. Relax the abdomen, relax your lower back. Good, again, in. And then exhale completely. Let all of your weights sink down. Okay, one more like that. Full breath in. Hold it. And then completely exhale, relax your body weight. Arms, legs, neck, and head. Let it drop down for a moment. Then allow your natural breath to come back into your body, keeping your eyes closed. And just start to feel the rhythm of your breathing without having to control it. Let the heavy side of your body drop into the ground. Relax the space around your eyes and around your jaw. And for the next few minutes, just give yourself this time to relax, letting all the noises and sounds, anything that's in your environment, let that fall into the back of your mind. Stay focused on watching your breath as it enters and as it exits your body. Coming back anytime the mind wanders or drifts. Using each exhalation to relax your physical body. Let it drop onto the floor. Skin melting, body dropping. Letting everything else fall away.
Are you good? And then slowly when you're ready, I want you to give yourself just a little stretch overhead. Take a breath. Reach your arms. You can point your toes if they're stretching. And then exhale your knees towards your midsection. Good. And then give your body a little rock over to one side and use your arm as a pillow for a moment. Very good. And then slowly make your way up to a comfortable sitting position. However you sit comfortably, that's it, in this moment. So take your time. Perfect. And then inhale your palms together into the center of your chest. Good, and then as you exhale, have gratitude for everything your body achieved today. Start to send a little thanks down to your legs, your arms, all the muscles that were working well. We often only really recognize when things aren't working, not really when they're doing their job. So give some love to the parts that are working well today. And as you inhale, stretch your arms up. As you exhale, bring your palms down and bow to your own effort. Thank yourselves for showing up today and joining me.